The Public Utility Vehicle Modernization Program PUVMP, was launched by the Department of Transportation of the Philippines in 2017, with the goal of making the country's public transportation system efficient and environmentally friendly by 2020. The program calls for the phasing out jeepneys, buses and other public utility vehicles PUVs, that are at least 15 years old and replacing them with safer, more comfortable and more environmentally friendly alternatives over the next three years. Currently, there are 180,000 jeepney units operating throughout the country. Replacement vehicles are required to have at least a Euro 4 compliant engine or an electric engine to lessen pollution. Some proposed requirements include CCTV cameras, Panta Transportation Payment Terminal, speed limiters, and GPS monitors. The Land Bank of the Philippines estimates that each jeepney replacement will cost around 1.4 million pesos to 1.6 million pesos. However, based on an interest rate of 6% per annum and a payment period of 7 years, the actual cost of a jeepney reaches 2.1 million pesos. Some transport groups have criticized the program as anti poor. These groups have pointed out that under the program, most drivers and small time operators would be unable to afford replacement units and corporate entities would seek to monopolize the market and impose fare hikes on commuters. Goals in addition to the phase out of old jeepneys, the program aims to change the current franchising system, revise and introduce new routes and provide training to jeepney drivers. The program, according to the DOTR, has the following goals. Safe and comfortable transport. Predictable travel time. Disciplined and competent drivers. Fair regulations. Spacious jeepneys. Furthermore, the department claims that the program's environmental and economic benefits will be felt by commuters, operators, and drivers alike. The changes in routes and optimized networks will be more convenient for commuters. Drivers will have better monthly salaries and benefits, and their health will be better of because of the reduced traffic congestion and pollution. Finally, operators will be able to accept more passengers with a reduced traffic and can reduce costs under the franchising scheme by sharing services. Implementation In June 2017, Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade signed the Omnibus Franchising Guidelines OFG, which reformed the process of granting jeepney franchises by introducing new rules on route planning and setting new standards for vehicles and drivers. Under the OFG, local government units are required to come up with their own local public transport route plans. These plans will be based on existing and projected travel patterns and will be considered by the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board in issuing new franchises. Single unit operators will no longer be granted franchises. Crackdown on dilapidated vehicles In January 2018, Metro Manila S Interagency Council on Traffic IACT launched operation Tongle Bullock, Tongle USOK, targeting vehicles for environmental and safety violations such as smoke belching, worn out tires and lack of seat belts. As of January 23, a total of 1087 vehicles, mostly public utility jeepneys PUJs, were flagged down, apprehended and issued summons. To accommodate affected passengers, the armed forces of the Philippines have been offering free rides. Prototypes. In October 2017, the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board LTFRB, and the Department of Trade and Industry DTI, presented 16 prototype jeepneys. These models were all locally manufactured and based on guidelines set by the DOTR. Features include, Euro 4 engines CCTV cameras GPS automated fare collection systems front facing seats new exits on the right hand side financing an estimated 1.5 billion pesos will be given to transport corporations and cooperatives to purchase new PUVs through the Development Bank of the Philippines program assistance to support alternative driving approaches Posada. The program will feature a 5% equity for vehicle purchase, 6% interest rate and 7-year repayment period. Under Posada, a maximum of 95% of the cost of the vehicle, and a maximum of 75% of the cost of the support facilities comprise the total loan per borrower. 
The government will also offer a maximum subsidy of 80,000 pesos to cover the equity payment. A Memorandum of Understanding Mo, with the Land Bank of the Philippines was also signed by the DOTR to set up a PHP 1 billion financing for PUJs via the Special Environment Friendly and Efficiently Driven Speed Jeepney Program. Phases according to the DOTR, the proposed implementation time frame is as follows Q4 2017 Pilot Program in Metro Manila 2018 2019 Metro Manila Manila, Metro Cebu, Metro Davao 2019-2020 Highly urbanized cities, rest of the country support at least 20 government agencies and 24 transport groups from across the country supported the launch of the program. Among transport groups that supported the initiative are the Panta Transportation Network, Federation of Jeepney Operators and Drivers Association, FEJODAP, One United Transport Coalition, One UTAK, Alliance of Transport Operators and Drivers Association of the Philippines, ALTODAP, and Coalition of Operators, Drivers, Employees, ATBP, Code X, and the Philippine Confederation of Drivers and Operators, Alliance of Concerned Transport Organizations, PCD. Acto. Pankalahading Sangunian Manila and Suburbs Drivers Association, Pasang MASDA, also expressed support. Their president Obet Martin stated, it was high time for the country to replace the current jeepneys to more modern and more efficient units. Criticism even before its launch, the program was received negatively by various transport groups. While Senate Bill 1284 and House Bill 4334, the programs enabling legislation, were still pending in February 2017, jeepney drivers launched numerous strikes and demonstrations in Metro Manila and in key cities throughout the country, according to Kilisang Mayo Uno, KMU, and Pinagkasang Samahan ng Super and Operator Nationwide, Piston, the 1.4 million pesos to 1.6 million pesos cost of new jeepneys will adversely affect the livelihood of 600,000 public utility jeepney, pudge drivers and 300,000 small operators. The group claims that commuters will also be hit with an increased fare of at least 20 pesos. According to the Crispin B. Beltran Resource Center, CBBRC, operators, drivers and commuters stand to lose from the program. By the CBBRC's estimates, the minimum requirement of 20 jeepneys per franchise will require an investment of at least 30 million pesos, effectively barring small-time and independent jeepney operators. It is also claimed that the government's promises of lighter traffic are bogus, since jeepneys comprise around only 2% of vehicular traffic in the NCR. Foreign and local companies will allegedly take advantage of the situation by monopolizing technology and increasing fares by up to 50%. On September 24, Transport Group Stop and Go Coalition held a transportation strike to protest the program. LTFRB board member and spokesperson Aileen Lazada said the only areas affected were Commonwealth, Litex, SM Fairview, and Sandiganbayan in Quezon City. On October 16, Piston held a two day transportation strike. In response, the Malacanang announced the suspension of classes at all levels and of government work on October 16. In a press statement, Alliance of Concerned Transport Organizations, President Efren de Luna stated that their group did not join the transport strike as they found that PUV modernization wants to ensure the security of passengers and to have an environmentally sustainable mode of transportation. Senator Grace Poe, chair of the Senate Public Services Committee, has expressed doubt over the government's readiness to implement the program nationwide. According to Poe, the government will have to shell out 415 billion pesos for full implementation of the scheme, far more than the 2.26 billion pesos it approved. She has suggested that the PUV modernization program be implemented in select cities instead. Senator Poe and Senate Majority Leader Vicente Tito Sato III have called for a middle ground solution, saying that old but roadworthy PUVs should be allowed to operate. However, the DOTR has given no clear commitment to their suggestion. See also Transportation in the Philippines Jeepney Taxicabs of the Philippines References <laughs>